Welcome, welcome. We all dream of a good, healthy life. Today, it's that day that we dreamed of to have a perfect, you know, great, good life, to be healed in all areas of our lives. Of course, I'm not alone. This is Nsikinoko. The show is a, a, a broadcasted by Power to Lead with Integrity. Let me bring on the guest without wasting more time. I have uh, Dr. Doug Lera with me. Hello, Doc. Oh, sorry, you muted. Sorry, sir. Hello, Doc. Sorry, you are muted. You are live now. Oh. To you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful to be on the show with you today. Thank you so much, Dr. Uh, Doug Lera. And I'll just allow you to introduce yourself to the guests, to the attendees. But before we do that, let me open the show with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Almighty God, for being our God, for being our guide, for being the one who created us and the one who always wanted us to live in abundance and goodness and to be in our good health all the time. We pray that the abundant spirit, the free gift of life, the spirit that is a positive energy in our lives, that brings us to our destiny, may be with us right now, heal us from the top of our heads to the bottom of the soles of our feet, heal our minds, our spirit, everything in us to be fulfilling your purpose on earth in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 I bring Doc back to the stage. Let's share the stage, <laughs> Doc. <laughs> Let's hear oh, you. you. <laughs> All right. And, well, thank you. you know, uh, thank you so much. Above all, before you, you talk to us and tell us who you are, I want to introduce to the attendees that this is the doctor, Dr. Doug Lera, my doctor, my instructor, my trainer, who blessed me with a great training of the CRT resonance um, uh, cellular, re cellular resonance technique, healing, and from soul to cell. And he's here to tell us to just tap into that greatness of free gift of this power. Doc, over to you. I, I don't read bio so that people can get it from you who you are. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I, I, I'm Dr. Doug Lair. Uh, I'm here in, uh, in California, in Beverly Hills, California, where uh, I practice and uh, energy medicine. I am the founder of the Lair School of, of Energy Medicine, teaching the cellular resonance, uh, soul to cell healing, uh, quantum healing technique. I'm a master in quantum energy medicine. Uh, I founded uh, this school and this technique years ago in that I was crippled and walked with a cane uh, when I was 27, 28 years old, excruciating pain, uh, x-rays and MRIs and CAT scans, all of that revealed uh, that I had uh, a totally destroyed disc called fragmented disc, and then the other disc above it in the lumbar, that's low back uh, spine, uh, was protruded into my spinal cord. And I prayed to God to die because the pain was so great. Uh, obviously, I got quite depressed and, and had many other health conditions that coincided with it, from irritable bowel syndrome to heart murmur and stigmatism in my eyes and so on. Uh, but what happened was uh, I didn't die, obviously, and I prayed for something different. I said, God, show me how I can heal myself and heal other people. Truly, what's really going on with people? Because I was already a doctor of chiropractic and, and naturopathic medicine and, and uh, an expert in nutrition and, and, and holistic health. However, those things, acupuncture, w w was not working. And very quickly, uh, I got introduced to energy medicine, which is understanding that our cellular structure, the very essence of all nature, of all things, including our body, is energy. 
Dr. Albert Einstein stated this clearly, everything is energy. All right. So the molecules that make up your cells at the very essence of what they are is energy. And material, the material essence of what we see, matter, is formed by this energy and depends on how fast it spins and, and flows. And that way, uh, gold has one density of, of, of electrons and lead has a different one and so on. Every chemical, every element in the universe is made of energy. And we understand this in quantum physics. So I was introduced to this quantum physics form of healing, which gets to the energy that creates the physical matter. And literally, I not only uh, got out of pain, but I healed the discs, regenerated those, healed the stigmatism, healed the heart murmur, healed the irritable bowel syndrome, the depression and anxiety and panic attacks that I used to get. And all that stuff disappeared. It healed because we got to the essence of what causes it. And so I've become an expert for the last 37 years. I've treated over 500,000 patient visits. Um, I have uh, developed the cellular resonance technique and I've taught hundreds of practitioners around the world. And, uh, and I have practitioners like Nasiki in South Africa, Serbia, Israel, Palestine, Switzerland, uh, Spain, and in the United States and even Canada. Uh, so we're just expanding and, and, and training people, uh, doctors and healers, how to do this. Because you see, you got to understand that the, the chief cause of all problems, like my problem, the thing that caused my problem was perfectionism. I had to be perfect in every way because I had the pressures of my family. And that's called stress. And even the American Medical Association, the British Medical Association, and throughout the world, we understand that stress and trauma, traumatization, is the cause that interrupts this energy system, this brain and nervous system that controls our body and is actually controlled by the subconscious mind. So our thoughts and feelings and what happens to us and how we feel and the way we suppress our emotions, that affects us. So I become uh, well known in this field and I, I love helping people to heal and there's not a condition that can't get well. So if your doctor says, you know, you got to live with it or, you know, you got to do what they tell you to do, but, you know, you ask them, doctor, what, what caused my problem? So I'm going to turn it back to you, Nasiki, to ask me some questions about this. Uh, uh, about cellular resonance technique, how I help people, and about stress and trauma, and uh, which is really uh, at the at the, gr the 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 root ground level of our dis ease. And once we heal that, it changes everything in our life. <laughs> Absolutely, Doc. And first of all, uh, you said something very profound that you prayed to God. You prayed first. Absolutely. I, I know, but <laughs> you are then a believer in God, the divine. You know, there's something that we just need to clear before we go on. People, when you talk about energy, then people think you, you're speaking of another thing, other spirits. Just clear that when how you connect divinely, because me, I experience the training and I experience how you, you take us through open mindset to connect with the divine spirit of God. Take us through that. Absolutely. You know, let's just look at who we are as human beings. If we really can get what I'm about to say, you're already on your way to healing yourself. So first of all, you're a body right? And you're a mind and you're a soul and you are created through this spirit energy from God. God created the soul. There's one soul. And then that soul uh, created multiple aspects of itself, multiple souls. So we have billions and billions of souls. The soul has your unique template May you look the way you do, talk the way you do, experience the way that you do. The soul gives you your talents and abilities of music, voice, like we listen to that beautiful, gorgeous song. Uh, 
uh, as we began this broadcast. So if you are this perfect design soul by God, then how did you get sick? Why is your life have misery and suffering and pain, physical pain or and a mental and emotional anguish and pain? We're not always joyful. Isn't that not true? So everyone has problems, no matter what aspect of life that we came into this world in. It is the human mind, the ego mind that is fear-based. It's based to survive bears and tigers. And it's a natural thing to be fearful of a bear or tiger. That would be smart, right? <laughs> and run and get away from that bear or uh, as villages used to do, they'd build a perimeter fence and, you know, keep the lions and tigers out of, of the village. Very much so. So that was a defensive move based on fear. And that was real. But now your subconscious mind and your body doesn't know the difference between a memory of a bear or a tiger or a lion. And it will react the same way to that memory. And our medical physiology books clearly state that it's this subconscious memory that runs 99% of your body. Your choices, your decisions that you make come from memory. And if you put all these fear memories in there, fear, hate, anger, resentment, unhappiness, loss, lack, poverty, consciousness, this then repeats and creates itself in your life and in your body. And so we know that this, we call this stress simply, or, or traumatization, or traumatic stress. <laughs> and, and these things are what run us. So let's get back to God. God, the soul, and the spirit have the energy to heal you. It's always there. So why aren't you healed? Well, I pray. Hmm. You've got to get out of the way. Prayer is part of the aspect, but you got to know what to pray for. God, what I did was I said, God, show me how to get well. What do I need to do? Where do I need to go? How do I need to, as I learned later, think, feel, and believe about myself, life, and the world for me to be well, for me to heal this pain and suffering and these physical, real physical problems that showed up on even physical tests, all right? And just because it doesn't show up on a medical test doesn't mean you don't have a problem. So when doctors say, well, we can't find anything, there's nothing wrong with you, and you know you're sick and you got problems, no, the doctor is wrong, okay? He just can't find it because it may not have manifested physically yet, yet you feel it and are experiencing the symptoms. So that's real, but it's being caused within yourself. Now, we had a lot of help from our mother's fathers, preachers, teachers, and all the negative and, and harmful people that were negative and that did and said things that weren't, how did we say, kind and benevolent and loving. Communicated to us through the heart rather than communicated through the, the stick, fear, and threats, or however it came across, or ridicule, or whatever, you know, you experience. I, I experience ridicule, criticism, <laughs> and, and judgment, and I'm sure you can relate. So once we think a thought, a negative thought, once we experience something negatively, even it gets passed down generationally, it even says that, the sins of the forefathers are passed upon the sons and the daughters. This is our negative thoughts and feelings and fears that we pass on to our ch children. And we're all children, so we all inherited generations of stress. I have people who are sick because their family generations ago went through an Armenian Holocaust or uh, a, a, a Jewish Holocaust or an African Holocaust or whatever it is. There's been genocide and all sorts of things. And then it's inside us generations later. And we're still reacting to that as if it's still going on. And then we're then cre recreating that to be true. When all we have to do is literally shift our consciousness from fear to love. 
So the cellular resonance technique is helping you to shift your consciousness from fear to love. From the soul to the cell and the cell to the soul. It has to go into the physical body, has to go into the mind and into your soul body, your localized soul body. And it's all controlled by thought, which is energy. Thoughts are things, they are energy, and they are real, and they send out messages. And the old thing, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Yes, they will. You can mend from the from the broken bones, but the words live on in our subconscious and in our heart and, and hurt us. And we have to change that. It's so vitally important. So we have to stop interfering with the higher soul, with God, with the Christ, with the higher divine beings that are here to help us. The perfection of God in us we, is our job to get back to the garden within us. The kingdom of heaven lies within us, or we interfere with that kingdom and we cause hell inside us. So we have to realize that the abuse that we had, the words that were said, the hitting, this maybe sexual abuse, you know, in the United States, I know 20, 25% documented people are, are sexually abused. And, in, and then when I say that, most people say it's a lot higher. It's just not reported. So 25% reported. So we have a lot of us. And then generationally, I know I have patients who come into me, you know, did my father sexually abuse me? It's like, this is a memory that goes back generations. Somewhere, somewhere a father abused someone in your family. But, you know, uh, we are now experiencing that. In Israel, they did research and found all these children were having these Holocaust nightmares and terrors. This is like in the last 20 years. They weren't in the Holocaust in 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 Germany and Poland and the in those those concentration camps, those death camps. No, their grandparents and great grandparents were, and those memories passed on, and so they're in that having those memories like it was happening from now. Just like I said earlier, no difference between remembering a bear or experiencing the bear firsthand. Your body and mind will react the same way, mentally, emotionally, and physically. So we need to look and see what was the stress before our pain, our suffering occurred. There's always a stress right before that. What was it? A loss? Uh, whatever it is. That stress could be physical, mental, emotional, chemical stresses. But there's always emotions with every physical and chemical stress. So that's what's vital to understand, that there's something that happened. And when we can deal with it at the cellular level, subconscious and energy level, the soul energy level, soul is made from this energy. The spirit is a type of consciousness and energy. Then we stop interfering with God's perfect plan for us. Health, happiness, success, joy, love, communion, open hearts, and joyful communities, enjoying each other, playing music, singing music together, helping each other. So we have lived in a world that hasn't been so benevolent. It's been quite malevolent. I don't know how many of you have been robbed. I have many times stolen, cheated. Betrayed, betrayed, even by those that say they love us. You know, we marry them and then they're cheating, stealing and hurting us, beating us, whatever it might be. So we have to let go of those things. And my work helps the body and the mind and this negativity that gets stuck in our energy, in our soul, in our heart, to heal very rapidly. If you're willing, you got to be willing. <laughs> That's right. And we have to be willing to let go of that fear-based need to be right and dominate and do power over others to survive. And let that will, that ego will, that fear-based will, to surrender that to the soul. 
to God's will, which is always love and benevolence and healing. And when we can do that, when doctors say, well, a miracle happened, we don't know what happened. Something happened in that person that reconnected them to the soul, to the heart, to the power to heal that was always there. And doctors don't, don't do it. You do it. My work just helps you to do it. And if you could do it on your own, you would have done it already. It's not easy. People ask me, Dr. Doug, how did you heal yourself? I had people that knew how to do what I'm talking about. Then I improved on it and connected more to God and the spirit in my heart that directed me deeper how to take it further and further to help people. Then I train other people to free themselves from their own pain and misery and then to help others to free themselves from that pain and misery. And that's, that's it. So all healing, all of life is a spiritual process to reconnect to God, to love, to the soul, to your heart, to your truth. Truth with a capital T, not your ego's truth. You threw a ball at me and that hurt. All right, well, that happened. That's a small T truth. The bigger truth is that person felt, <laughs> felt lost, abandoned, and lashed out because they're separated from God. Your job is to reconnect and stop living in this separation from God, from the soul to yourself. You got to be connected when you're fully aligned with that. Your life changes. You become more prosperous and joyful. And your body heals. And then at some point, we all die. When you learn what you came here to learn, then it's your time to go. Because a lot of people ask me, well, why did children die? They came here for a purpose. And it was to live seven years. To bring that joy to the family. To experience whatever they experienced. And then they go. They learned and by age seven. That was their plan. And we have to realize that we can choose the low road of our plan and suffer and suffer. If we, if we came here to live till 93, we're either going to do it healthy, happy, and successful, or we're going to do it with misery and pain and suffering and poverty and whatever else. And we're going to still live to 93. So it's a lie that doctors make us necessarily live longer. God and the soul are in charge, and they're here to journey us through our journey. And if we'll just listen, finally listen and let go of our true pain and suffering, then we are blessed to live a better life, a healthier life for the time that has been pre-designed for us. And a lot of people don't like to think, oh, really? There's a, there is a death date? Yep, there is. You can suffer through you know, all the things you're doing, all the choices you're making, or you can make choices that will illuminate you and bring you to the next level of consciousness. Because we're here to evolve. We are here to evolve. And we are now here on the earth with a, <laughs> a common thing that happened to everybody around the world. And it was trying to show us all we must love each other, work together, and stop being controlled and start taking charge of our life and our heart. And that there's nothing to fear but fear itself right? As Winston Churchill and FDR said, I don't know which one said it first, but we have to, to get out of fear, out of hate, out of resentment, out of blame and shame, and realize that what you think about comes about. You're creating your life and your reality, no matter how much it looks like it's somebody else. And we all had a lot of help because we inherited all that stuff called epigenetics, all the, all the negativity and pain and suffering of our family lineage generations, but it's up to us to overcome it. Will you go on that journey or will you just keep on doing what you're doing? And how's that working for you to continue doing what you've been doing for another year, five, 10, 20 years if you live that long? You have a choice to make, a new choice to make to heal the past, to forgive it. We gotta forgive from the soul to the cell. You can't just say, oh, I forgive you. That's not real forgiveness. 
Right, Nasiki? I'm, I'm talking on and on here. <laughs> we have to we have to forgive with our heart. We have to forgive in our body, our mind, and with all of our soul, all of us, all of us. It has to be sincere. It has to reach the cell. Cellular resonance gets your cells to resonate with the soul, the love of God so that you become aligned with the power. And that is what empowers you. Nobody else can empower you, but they can help you. A practitioner like Nasiki that I'm training and trained, she can help you with these, with these skills. My practitioners can help you with these skill, with the ability to do this because my work was given to me by God, by source itself the truth that we have to let go and we're all this res this energy we're either in dissonance with god or we're in resonance with god the soul your heart your body so we got to get ourselves to resonate with love it's always been this way all the prophets all the great ones have said the same thing Humanity hasn't listened, and I just happen to listen enough to receive how we can use uh, this soul energy, this love frequency to resonate through ourselves and heal our pain and suffering and trauma. And so will you make that choice to let go? Will you make that choice to... To, to, to see yourself as this beautiful God-created being, this God-created soul, and this soul who has the power to heal you, will you choose that journey and know that that's your purpose, your true purpose. It's not, that's it. You know, when we fly on an airplane, what do they tell us? The first thing, they say, if we lose cabin pressure, <laughs> That would be a big stress, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you get stressed, lose cabin pressure in your life. Put on the mask first. Uh, not, not one of those paper things. Oxygen, life. Oxygen is a type of energy that we breathe that keeps us alive. If we don't have it for X amount of seconds, we die. We need spirit to flow through us. When we don't have enough spirit, we age and we fall apart. Even biblically, they say people live 900 years, a long time ago. Medicine has proven we could live 900 years if our body's energy healing systems would just work as they were normally designed to do. You have greatness in your genes, greatness in your soul being, and it's up to you to decide to choose, to reconnect, to heal what father said to you, mother did to you, your brother did to you, your sister did to you, your husband or wife or that stranger with a gun. We have to see what fear, what hurt in us then attracted more negative things to happen to us. Because once we get programmed negatively, once we experience a negative experience, and if we don't heal it, we're going to keep attracting the same energy, the same type of deal to happen to us. All right? You got to understand, everything is energy, and consciousness tells the energy what to do. So is it fear consciousness or love consciousness? The more love in your cells, the better outcomes you're going to have in your life. And we're all here to, you know, the ego mind's not capable of love. Oh, I love you. No, that's just the ego saying that. And the next thing they're doing is, you know, doing something to you, right? Or they want something. Oh, honey, I love you. Will you do this for me? Right? The ego mind uses this so-called love thing to manipulate and control and do different things. If it was real love is unconditional. And that comes from the soul. That comes from the God. And so our job is to bring in this unconditional love from our soul, from God, in through us, to allow it to come into us. 
it has been been those who have taught this. They made religions around them. Are you doing it? Are you really doing it? You have to do it with all your heart. All, all of you, mind, body, and energy, soul. So that's it. Uh, I help people figure out what it is. Every disease condition, you know, I had a, uh, a man who had horrible relationships with women and and they all hated him and and it was uh his parents marital energy and, and and family lineage before that when we when we healed that in his body and his mind he attracted a beautiful lovely woman and got married and, and they're they're blissfully happy together uh people come to me for relationship healing people come to me to heal things like whatever terminal illness i had a lady with a terminal illness i'm not going to say the name of that illness you already know what it is in her breasts and you know she came in and heard me speak and she goes i know it was a mother issue all right let's go heal it and we healed that mother issue that lack of nurturing because breasts are a nurturing child organ gland and so metaphorically she didn't feel that nurturing and then as a, an older woman uh the, her mother as an older woman uh had alzheimer's and then the daughter my patient had to take care of her. She had to nurture her mother, but she never got nurtured. So those two stresses created her breast terminal so-called illness. She had medical uh, treatment seven years before, but the problem came back seven years later. In medicine, they cured her, <laughs> but it came back. It always does or another disease comes up because the negativity always has to, the stress, the trauma always has to be expressed. Physically, it'll, in your world, in your body, in your life, it's going to be expressed. It's going to be there. Signs everywhere. Signs, signs everywhere. A sign. They're all there. And so, yeah. So uh, we helped her heal that at the physical level, mental, emotional level, and the spiritual, energy, soul level. So we could get all that hurt out of her soul, interfering with the power of the soul and spirit to heal her. And eight weeks, I, I worked on her for four hours. Eight weeks later, she went back to her medical doctor. He says, we don't find that problem in your breasts anymore. That was five years ago. She's still doing great at 74 years old. All right. And this is, you know, I practice in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, right? So this is one of my well-known patients who's famous for for doing some stuff in the hollywood entertainment industry so no names but you know i see that i've treated you know i've set up free you know i set up low-cost clinics in palestine i really wanted to do it for free but <laughs> uh the, the beautiful hearted palestinian people <laughs> felt free there must be a catch okay <laughs> so fifteen dollars <laughs> that was back in 2011 and 12 when i was there and then i trained palestinian practitioners to help and israeli practitioners to help we want to help everyone everyone suffering everyone in the world all right and everybody has good well most everyone has goodness in them and it's just a matter of just bringing that godness goodness goodness that's a, a double o god inside us <laughs> to, to bring that to bring that to, to fruition obviously we have some psychopaths and they they don't want to get well <laughs> they're having fun doing what they're doing <laughs> but it's up to us to not be abused or traumatized by them anymore all right got it so fear not fear not death you got a date and when it comes it comes Fear not, do in your heart what's right with all your heart, loving with all your heart. And the heart, your heart, science has proved this. It's something called a toroidal field. Your heart energy around the heart is an energy field of God within you. It's your job to fill it up with God. Take God into your heart. I wonder who said that. <laughs> got to do that and i'm not trying to convert anybody into any religion 
all right? I want mm-hmm. you to connect to the true source of God. Yes. The religion, if your religion could do it, it would have done it already. Some of those religions have been around hundreds or thousands of years. It's up to you. If it is to be, it's up to me. Say it. If it is to be, it's up to me. You got to make a new choice. You got to find a way. And if your way isn't working, then perhaps you need some help. And that's what cellular resonance practitioners around the world. Uh, I just need to train thousands more because I only have a few, a few hundred. <laughs> All right. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, yes to do that and that's why i have people fly from all over the world to see me but there's just one of me so doctors healers people that know in your heart i'm a healer i'm here to help people then wow then 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 take my course i have it online so you can learn it anywhere in the world but i do teach it live i'd rather you come you know l- learn it online to get going and but come here to los angeles i have a, a course november 28th through december 2nd in los angeles so we can help you to heal because all the practitioners heal each other work with each other to help them heal and uh and 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 clear out the big stresses that are interfering with your health your happiness relationships your success so we can go help humanity heal humanity needs this work it needs the healing you know you need the healing yeah you get really if you really get honest and sincere we all do uh, people ask me, what do you do, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Doug? How long have you been doing this? I've been working on myself 37 years. Well, you're not totally healed yet? Well, <laughs> it's in my plan to live a long time. So I got a lot, <laughs> a lot to, to resolve from my genetic lineage and from, from my poor choices and to learn to live and embody God more and more each day. And that's what I do my best to do. And that's what I help my patients to do. And, uh, and I am not the same person I was when I was 27, 28 years old. Uh, I'm very different. And I'm almost 66 in this video that you're listening to. And that's right. That's so. beautiful. It doesn't even go, <laughs> you know. And always just the smile, the happiness, the joy, you know, in you all the time. It's, it, 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 you know, it's contagious. It's it, it, impact someone with that spirit of joy and i keep on smiling even in the training would all <laughs> in the training room keep on smiling you know? You, you know doc take us through you know the the things that you go through you've touched on that because i was going to ask you on the the healing of, of, of resources where you you speak about healing our thoughts that's our past. And also, you know, the forgiveness, forgiveness is key. I mean, I was listening and I was sending a message to someone and saying, wow, what a sermon. <laughs> also, I, I've realized I've read some uh, statements or some, you know, articles about other people where they say some people, not all, but some people, you know, had some diseases in their bodies because they could not forgive because right. of the hardened hearts and then you develop a kind of disease in your body right. yeah, yeah what is di- uh uh-huh. what you is this yeah, yes pardon me for interrupting i just want to say yes. what does what does disease mean disease yeah. lack of ease you've lost the ease of god within you where things flow, but when you can clear this interference out from this body, mind, soul, trinity, this beautiful trinity of creation of God that we are, then we get to, to be blessed each day in our own creation. And and we, we are, we're here to celebrate, you know, and this world would have us think that we're here to Go make money and go do this and go do that and all these things, you know, uh, pay your taxes, fill out your, ta- your forms. Oh, my God. You, you know, we've been put through uh, an interesting gauntlet to do and we can change it. If it is to be, it's up to all of us to shift our consciousness, which will ch- shift the reality and we, the people, then become truly in charge of our lives, our destinies, our families, our communities. And 
when we all do that, we don't need police. We don't need government. We don't need anyone because we are God connected. We are acting in accordance and we would never harm anyone. We would only be here to love and, and nurture and be of service to each other. And when we're all being of service to each other, there is no lack. There is prosperity for all. But it takes a higher con a higher consciousness. But as long as you're in fear and survival mode, you know, you're going to be part of the problem. <laughs> so stop being your own problem and everyone else's problem. <laughs> and, and be willing to, to solve it. And it's as simple. The, 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 the clues are all there. Your dis-ease is your first clue. So dis-ease is not bad. It's just showing you where you're out of alignment with the divine love of your own creation and connection to all that you are. And so we now have techniques like cellular resonance. And I hope that there's other ones out there. I don't know of anyone, any of them that do the, the job that this does, but we need more practitioners to help more people. We got, we got billions of people to help. You know, I need millions of practitioners. I'll, I'll, I'll train as many as I can in my life. And then from there, I'll turn it over to those who have, have trained and mastered these healing techniques and mastered their connection and their heart with God to help others. Not to give them a new religion, to give them hope, faith, yes. compassion, yes. deep understanding, yes. and uh, sometimes a, a, a very gentle nudge <laughs> in the right direction. But you can't make anybody, okay? The only mind you can change ultimately is your own. So change your mind, radiate love, truth, truth from above, not your ego truth. We got lots of ego truths running out, little little T truths. No, 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 you did this and you did that. Yeah, those are little T truths. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Gotta stop that. <laughs> anyway, I would love to stay with you. I have patience. I'm in my car stopped because... I, I got caught in Los Angeles traffic and I have patients waiting for me at the office and I need to crank up this thing and drive and get there safely and, and take care of the people. Uh, many who have literally, literally driven hundreds and hundreds of miles to see me today and others that have been on airplanes to fly thousands of miles that are here to see me today. So with much love and gratitude to you for having me share and Thanks. do a little, uh, I hope hope my rant was a love rant because that's always my intention <laughs> to really share with your audience uh, hope and peace and love and, and that there is a way for you to heal. And uh, it's not by poisoning yourself with those chemical things that the doctors give people. Uh, it is, it is to really heal your true dis-ease, the stress, the negativity, um, uh, the things that, that happened that now made you believe, you know, life is a, 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 a bad, dark, cruel world or whatever your subconscious mind memory is doing now or from generations back to say, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm yeah. done with that running me. I'm going to heal. I'm going to uh, surrender my life to a life of, of love and joy. But I have to dissolve the fear and the hurt, the hate. Most of the hate's for ourselves, and then that just comes out on other people. All right? All right? To truly... Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I got, yes. seven, now I got seven minutes to make it to the office. I know. I know. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank so, you so much. With all my heart. We'll take it up next time. Thank you right. so much. Thank you. Bye. Mr. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye bless. safely. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank All you. Bless. All right. Oh, yes, we continue. Thank you so much to Dr. Doug Lira. He's my instructor. He just left. You know, I feel um, I, I, I'm on another energy level. I know people don't understand this language of energy. But energy is a positive power of the Holy Spirit. 
it's a positive energy it's a positive free gift of life that we live in and really he, he took us into tapping into your soul to heal yourself and um i've been blessed by the training and to be you know released to to do the training also and to do the coaching on healing sessions sessions of people who need that so it has been a wonderful journey i know we have just five minutes to close up but thank you for everyone who is listening and who's watching online i see you all those some of the names i didn't see but i see those who are watching online and those will be watching this episode thank you so much and it's all upon us to heal from the pains of the past to heal from the thoughts of the past thoughts sometimes it's not even other people said things to us it's us saying that oh okay something has been happening then you think you will never make it and those things matter the power of life and death is in the tongue never speak any negative word to yourself i even take it further if i'm attacked by a, a headache migraine i never say it's my migraine it's a migraine that attacked me it's not mine i don't want it i don't own it i will never receive it so for me it's a kind of disease you know not say it's my thing it's not yours it's a disease in your body so the power of the tongue is very important when we move swiftly with the cellular resonance technique you just recognize first of all that you have a situation or you you are going through a season of that disease and then you accept the power of the holy spirit to run through you your body like he was saying around your heart there's that positive energy of god in you god lives in us in these bodies that's the holy spirit god is god the father the son and the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit is given unto us so that we may live in abundance of good health we all want to live in good health in abundance and free from all diseases and free from lack free from poverty free from suffering and those are things that sometimes we want to run away from speaking about financial wealth financial wealth and happiness and good finances are part of the journey so that we can be able to take further the great commission and the great commandment we will never take the great commission to the nations to go and preach the good news to everyone if we have don't even have means to go there so we need financial wealth we need to heal in that area we went through a pandemic and christ said do business till i come how do you do business when you don't even have finances to go on and do that business therefore it's a mindset that we should understand it's not a ministry of prosperity that we speak on forget about people who love money and just money we speak resources that Christ did and also performed as well when he sent the disciples to the fish to go to get the money so that you can pay where you need to pay and for them it was a miracle we need those miracles christ said we can do greater things with the power of the holy spirit that he left us with on earth to do greater things and miracles than he even performed it's in the good book it's written so we don't block our mindset of understanding and receiving the goodness the words that christ said to us so that we may increase and we may also be able to be in the good space of extending the ministry to others in the book of isaiah 117 it is upon us on earth as we are appointed to go and preach to be of help to the needy to the orphans 
and to the widows. How do you do that without having even finances? You'll be half doing it with prayer and nothing to show to help where someone needs bread, where someone needs healing, where someone needs resources, someone needs a place to stay. We cannot underestimate the power of having resources to be the hands and feet of God on earth. So we pray and pray that our finances may be healed so that we may be able to be help to ourselves. We need to pay for our daily, you know, basic needs. If you don't have a lot of people have been kicked out of places where they were staying, a lot, a lot believing, praying, but they've been kicked out of the places. They have no place to stay. Others are kicked out of their jobs because they restructured. So we cannot underestimate the need for finances, the need for resources to help each other. We can even help people who are in those situations. I listened to someone who said the other situation that we're going through now and after the pandemic, oh, the pandemic actually is still happening because people are still affected by the virus. I have seen a lot of people still being saying they have they they contracted the virus. So we are still praying on to be completely free of the spirit that attacked the whole world. And from there, people are still struggling and say even spiritually now to pray, it is a problem. Even others say when people have borrowed you money, they pressurize you, they want their money back and you don't even have that money truthfully you don't have it because you also lost a job you lost a place people lost houses people lost anything that was looking like a material thing so we cannot underestimate the power of resources we pray for healing in our resources in the book of deuteronomy it's it's um 880 right yes 880 it says it is God who gives us the power to create wealth on earth so that we may be a blessing to others. We may not just be speaking on platforms and not even being able. If someone calls me now and say, okay, you were saying, can you help me with this? Will I be able to rescue someone financially in a desperate need? Will you be able to help me right now in a desperate need? Not people being irresponsible or not wanting to work, but it's a serious challenge that has attacked all people on earth. Bless those who had businesses during pandemic and gained resources. And if they're able to help somebody, be let it be so. But where we are able, where we are able, please be a blessing where someone is in need than stressing them to pay you back. Yes, you need the money, but remember, we are here. We all do, were just swept in this, you know. You know the quicksand in the sea. As you walk into the sea, and sometimes there'll be a quicksand that will swallow people and all of a sudden, they are no more. And it happened where I grew up, I know, those things happen even in life. There are situations that come to people as you are joyous, you think everything is good and well. It will sweep you, even your basic place of work where you were gaining money and all of a sudden you have no job. All of a sudden you have no marriage. All of a sudden your health is, you know, a challenge. All of a sudden friends left you even those you thought they would understand, they understood your situation. But sometimes we see friends leaving us. You are all alone. So all I'm saying is that empathy in this season. Let's exercise empathy in this season. As we heal, as I close the show, I pray the blessing of the Lord upon all of us, upon all of us who need healing, 
in all areas of our lives, from the top of our heads to the bottom of the soles of our feet, to all the organs inside our bodies where we need healing. It, it, and it doesn't mean you will not go through another challenge. You know, when I was attacked by migraine, again, I went back to Dr. Doug and said, migraine is like attacking and killing me. And it takes me through the steps again and say, what is the source? What, what makes you? Let's identify the cause of the source. What did you go through? What did you eat? And then we went through the exercise again. And I knew what happened, what triggered. Actually, it's what triggered the situation in your body. What triggered the situation to be in the state where you are at today that is causing you a pain in your life? What triggered the situation that caused a divorce in your life? What triggered a situation that caused your past pain to come back as you are going forward? We all need healing so we may reach our full potential, so we may reach the, you know, exercise our passion freely and to fulfill our purposes of God on earth. And thank you so much, my dear friends. Thank you so much, all of you who are watching live and those who are still going to be watching the show. Thank you. Above all, he always asks, what is it that we all need in life? And my, my you know, just thought of the answer was one word. He said in the training, what is it that all of us will need on earth that heals everybody? And I jumped in and said, love. He said, yes, that's it. We all need love. God is love. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that we may be healed, we may be saved, we may live life in abundance, that we may live a godly, righteous, just life, you know, a, a, a great life. May we receive that love. May we receive that love, all of us. May we be in the hands of the great love of God, here to eternity. Thank you all. I'm not going to disturb this great talk beyond all I'm going to do now is going to play a good song of love. Cheers and very well. I love you all. Love and peace. Love to all of you and peace to the world. Love is all you need, and that is a song we love, 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 love is what we need right now. Love, love is what we need right now. Love. We've got to show some love to the good people we need. No matter what.
gotta come together just to succeed. L O V E is what we.